This is CBS 11 News Now. It's News Now, our digital update. I'm Russ McCaskey. We're glad you're with us. Atmos getting back to work. Now in northwest Dallas, where more than two dozen houses and apartments were evacuated earlier this week. An evacuation order has since been lifted, but the gas company now saying that they're going to be replacing all the pipes. The latest pipe replacements still have people on edge, especially since a little girl died in an explosion just blocks away. This week, her family filed a lawsuit against Atmos. Well, spring is here, and with it comes some warmer weather, but people are going to be, more people will be outside, and that means it's also going to be the start of mosquito season. And in about an hour, we're expected to hear from the Dallas County Health Authorities. They're going to be discussing their plans to fight mosquito-borne illnesses like West Nile. In addition to traps, they also expect to talk about some pointers to keep people from getting bitten, like wearing long sleeves and draining standing water in your yard. Last year, 26 West Nile cases were reported, and two people died from the illness. And it seems like every year, you know, especially here in, in North Texas, we, we kind of deal with that and battle with it. So, so Jeff, you know, this, it's, gonna, it's here, right? You know, we've already seen a few mosquitoes in the in the dressing room. Have there. you? Yeah, I already oh, have. No. It's coming. It's time. The size of small pets. Yeah, <laughs> some around. of them are pretty big. Yeah, I saw in my yard yesterday, there was like a swarm of them around the garage. Right. It's yeah. just, you know, all the water we've had the past couple of days, the past few days mm -hmm. with the rain. Uh, no rain, though, today. Today's Good. beautiful. Yesterday turned out really nice after that fog burned away. And today, probably the pick day of the week because we haven't had to deal with the fog at all. We have sunshine this morning, a look outside in Midlothian, 52. It's been pleasantly cool this morning, and as we head throughout the rest of the day, temperatures are going to be warming up uh, first into the 60s during the lunch hour and then up to 70, 72 degrees for a high temperature today. Northeast winds uh, will be light, 5 to 12 miles per hour. Of course, we still have the Rangers uh, taking on the Astros. Another game tonight at uh, 7.05 first pitch. Pleasantly cool tonight as well. If you have any plans to head out to Globe Life Park, probably a long sleeve shirt, not a bad idea, or a windbreaker, something like that. No, the winds will continue light and not bad at all. Of course, we have uh, Passover beginning this evening and the rest of the holiday weekend forecast, including Easter, looking okay. Uh, tomorrow, 80 with sunshine, 78 on Easter. It's not going to be sunny Easter, mostly cloudy, but I don't expect a big deal of rain. Uh, a great deal of rain. In fact, uh, just a 20% chance, and most of that would be very light. So don't cancel any outdoor plans. A lot of you have Easter egg hunts or picnics, mm -hmm. time with the family. It should be okay. Not the prettiest Easter, but not too bad. Same type of weather Monday and Tuesday. I think our next best chance of rain is coming up uh, Tuesday night with another cold front and a 40% chance of rain by then. But That's, overall, not bad. Yeah, a little bit cooler, though, for Easter morning. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, yeah. 60s, it yeah, won't that's be fine, that bad. Right? Yeah, yeah okay. no big deal. Uh, but tomorrow also 80? That, yeah, tomorrow's really nice. Today oh, and tomorrow hot. are very nice. <laughs> yeah, almost hot. Well, we're almost near 90 a few weeks ago. Right. So, uh, well, you have plans for Easter? What do you, you got? The we're world? heading out of town. Oh, yeah, we're going to head out of town. My uh, wife's family, East Texas, will so be out there. Right, yeah, how about good. yourself? Uh, and my kids are coming in town. Oh, there you so, go. yeah, I'm looking good. forward to that. They're in college. I remember when my, we were thinking about some Easter egg hunts from years past. When my son was three, he would only pick up the green eggs. Why is that? I don't know. Still Just to this day, I don't know. Eggs. But he was, I'm like, hey, picking up the <laughs> eggs. And, and there was another woman. She's like, oh, he's only getting the green ones. And I'm like, sure enough. Yeah. He's... Maybe he thought it was money. Uh, <laughs> Maybe he did. <laughs> I don't know. Already thinking that way. Uh, speaking of Easter, Easter is, of course, this Sunday. And one Fort Worth brewery getting in the holiday spirit with its newest creation. Starting today, the tap room at the Collective Brewing Project will be offering, get this, beer infused with peeps. The creation oh. is made with sour ale brewed with vanilla and butterfly pea flour. It contains some <laughs> edible glitter as well. I don't, that just, there's nothing about no. that that sounds good. Well, the, the, first of all, there's nothing that it sounds like good about peeps before you try to incorporate I, yeah, them I'm in not a beer. Peep person. Hey, yeah. No, like, no, no. You don't like sweets in general. Yeah, do you? I usually don't have a, a huge sweet tooth, but peeps. I mean, that's yeah. just pure sugar. Yeah, and it's I mean, not. I've never yeah. enjoyed the peeps, uh, and, and and I don't think beer. And, and what do you think about edible glitter? I, I, I've never even heard of that. What does that even mean? <laughs> why do you need? Why does glitter need to be incorporated into beer? Just give me, just give me a, an IPA, and I'll be happy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of with you on that. No edible glitter. Some people like it, I guess. All right, that, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for watching CBS 11, the ones for Texas. And as always, for the very latest news, you can head to our website, cbsdfw.com. Another Facebook Live news now coming up right around the noon hour. Kim Molestino will have that for us. Hope you guys have a great day. Have a great Easter. We'll see you again next week.